So tonight I'm going to talk about how we could bring a learning revolution to our country. And my interest in this came from The Wire, which is, I think, one of the greatest shows. They did a season on education, and I really started thinking about what were the problems with education today. I came to the conclusion that the biggest problem is that the pinnacle of education today is getting into college. It's not really about learning. So what I'm going to go through is challenge the traditional notions that everyone has about education. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this YouTube video that went very viral. And a valedictorian basically said at her speech is that she absolutely learned nothing in the four years she spent in high school because she spent so much time memorizing you know, for exams, getting to college, that she didn't even get to enjoy anything. And I think that is the fundamental problem of school today. Um, 1900, there's 500,000 people enrolled in school. 1940, FDR questions why people should go to college. Today, there are 150 million students worldwide going to college. So how did this happen? This is really strange. And if you look at Obama, he says, by 2020, we're going to have the highest proportion of college graduates in the world. I think we're, we have this notion that if you go to college, you'll be extremely successful. You'll be rich. You'll be famous. Whatever you do, you get a degree, you, you know, you'll be successful. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to debunk the myth that a college degree leads to success. Um, there's, you know, disclaimer is I went to college twice. I have an undergrad and graduate degree. So I'm not a high school dropout. I actually went through the whole process. So the first myth that we're going to go over is that a you know, college degree leads to higher earnings. Not true. Um, a recent report shows that it's actually closer to $280,000 if you count counter, you know, the opportunity cost of going to college, you know, how much it costs. Um, I would argue that this number is you know, decreasing closer to zero. Um, the second myth is that you get awesome jobs, not true. 17 million people are parking lot attendants, waiters, waitresses, doing jobs that don't even require a college degree. Um, makes you question the value of it. Um, the third myth we'll talk about is that you know, the idea of you know, the success of college is very skewed. Teach for America waiting for Superman is very skewed for low-income communities. They obviously have the biggest benefit. Um, that doesn't really apply to the general college population. So, um, and the fourth is not everyone go to Harvard. You know, Harvard is the pinnacle of going to college, and they only enroll 20,000 students per year. The acceptance rate for going to Harvard is decreasing, and there are alternative. You know, when that happens, you have to have alternative, you know, opportunities, which is where University of Phoenix shows up. <laughs> so they enroll 500,000 students per year. They make four billion dollars, and it's very insane. And I really truly believe that colleges are run like corporations, they're run like businesses, where they make the most amount of money. And as you can see, the tuition will always increase because of this. Um, if you think the housing market crash is horrible, I think the college debt crisis is going to be one of the biggest bubbles that burst. Um, and you can see one of the craziest, the craziest statistics is that we, now we owe more on our student loans than we do on our, on our credit cards. If you really just internalize that um, statistic, it's mind-blowing. Um, I'll just pause so you can really cross that one. <laughs> but the really easy solution is that not everyone has to go to college, and we need to really disassociate that a college degree will make you successful. So I went through four myths. What I'll go through is really quickly four ideas that you know, I came up with with a couple of my friends over beards. Um, and I'm pretty sure you guys will come up with hundreds and thousands. But the first one is, why don't we have two-year colleges? Obviously, if you have two-year colleges, your debt is lower. You can spend the other two years doing cool stuff like travel the world, start businesses. Um, do whatever you want. Um, the, second, the second idea is why not pay students to quit college. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this on Mashable or TechCrunch. Um, but the idea behind this is that it really changes the perception of that college leads to success. And I think we need more things like this. The third idea is that you know, why not invest in students? There's a lot of other companies or other countries and organizations and other countries investing into students to allow them to take alternative paths like travel the world or start businesses. I mean, I think we need more things like that. And then the last idea, which is, I think, the idea, is that we just need to go back to the true essence of education, which has been here since the beginning of time, which is bringing learning back into the core essence of what, we, what education should be. So in conclusion, um, I know this is Internet Week, and one of the things we talk about a lot is we need to stop building apps and start disrupting education, and start disrupting industries. We're one piece of the massive puzzle. I'm on the co-founder of Skillshare. I'm pretty sure a lot of you heard of Khan Academy. I listed six companies that I admire that are completely disrupting industries, and I hope that, you know, as you guys start thinking about stuff to build on the Internet, please stop making photo-sharing apps, and please disrupt industries. Thank you. Yeah.